Nice to have you with us.
to obtain the go-ahead for the drone strike that would kill the terrorist leader. A few days after the strike against the robbery, I was in New York City and you know, made a quiet visit to the Ground Zero Memorial. And you know, it gives you an opportunity to reflect a little bit, in this case, on a measure of justice that the Zawakra strike, as well as the Bin Laden strike 10 years before, had brought for the 9 11 victims and their families, but also for CIA officers who had lost their lives. And these seven stars are from our base in Coast. These are seven CIA officers who lost their lives on the hunt for the Zawakri 13 years ago in 2009. So for CIA, that's not something that any of us have ever forgotten. To preserve the memories of the missions and the people who carry them out, that's the aim of this most unusual museum dedicated to the secrets kept behind these walls. She was already learning the piano. That's all her. 
no, for no. I've never ever worked with someone ever on a play or anything else that shows up and they know all of it. Everyone's lines, every single piece of scene description. We met the actor at Abbey Road Studios, made famous by the Beatles, where the London Symphony Orchestra Group was realizing a plot line from a movie. In a way, you're kind of completing what you set up in the film. Exactly. The character Lydia Tarr had been preparing to record Mahler's Fifth Symphony, which this orchestra did as part of a concept album that's being released as a companion to the film. I called Natalie up and said, what's it like? Before they shot, Lynch had worked with conductor Natalie Marie Beale. It's such a mix of, of skills. Your leader, sometimes your, your boss, your interpreter, and you have to be aware of a hundred people in a room. Um, all working within a system. Blanchett studied how to use the baton, what's called stick technique, to learn how to use the orchestra itself as a sort of instrument. You get this amazing electric charge, and in that space, I can understand how some people can think that they're the king or queen of the world. And it's really important that, that you you allow that, that space to kind of be filled again with humility. And, and I think that's what you witness in the character. It's the provocative film which explores of the moment themes, Me Too, and cancel culture. Your character has this interesting mix of appearing very powerful, but also very vulnerable. Yeah, we've all got those dualities. You know, stuck in. And I think I always spend half of our lives at, you know, in, in the middle of a confidence trick of pretending we, we've got our f together, when in fact, we, you know, we don't. The world and being alive is full of nuance and, and grey areas, and I think that that's where the film is really human and really provocative. Do you have self-doubt when you... Yes, right now, you full of it. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, that's why... You know, I, I, I think I probably keep working in a way to try and repair or make good for mistakes and missteps. You've done some pretty spectacular Oh, I've also done a lot of garbage. For every thing that we do, we think, oh, that was all right. There's five pieces of garbage that you put out into the world. I mean, it's, you never know what's going to work. And you also never know what's going to connect with an audience. Clearly, she's connected. Yeah. But Blanchett, who got her start in the theater, claims being in the limelight does not come naturally. It took me a long time to be comfortable with being looked at. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. But even longer to feel comfortable with being quote-unquote famous. In her life away from the spotlight, she's married to playwright Andrew Upton and is a working mom. What are you like as a parent? I'm an excellent mother. Just ask my, my four children. I'm, I am extraordinary. You know, I don't know. I don't know. How do you protect that role with the celebrity and all the pressures that that brings? I really try not to bring my work home. For Blanchett, the work is a form of escape. I'm not interested in playing myself. I mean, I do that in my everyday life, which is why I go to work, because I bore myself rigid. I don't want to play myself. An escape which showcases her remarkable ability to transform. Tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomorrow, on behalf of the Focati Rug, saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye. bye. bye.